A great symbol of the American westward expansion, Scott's Bluff National Monument is still one of the most alluring destinations in the western corner of Nebraska. Rising 800 feet above the North Platte River, Scott's Bluff National Monument is one of the unlikely places to visit in the Midwest. The 3,000-acre area looks out of place surrounded by flat prairie land. Set amid elevated bluffs and other rock formations, five distinctive rocks of the park resemble sacred ruins of an ancient city. For decades, they served as path markers for emigrants traveling along the Oregon, California Mormon and Pony Express trails. The real adventure starts outside the visitor center, en route to the historic promontory. The 1.6-mile Scott's Bluff Summit Road is the fastest way to get to the top. The winding road starts at the Vista Center parking lot, passes through three tunnels along the way, and stops at the summit with the few hiking trails and expensive views of the valley below. The hiking trails at Scott's Bluff are short. Two trails unfold in the opposite directions from a smaller parking lot at the top of the promontory and offer astounding views of the North Platte River Valley, Badlands, and the cities of Scott Bluff and Gehring. Sadly, the historic bluffs slowly disappear. Wind and water that once created these massive sentinels now chisel them away. One by one, the delicate grains of sand break off. Some years the erosion may seem insignificant, others, stimulated by persistent rain and wind, the process is faster than one can imagine. If it continues, Scott's Bluff will eventually be reduced to the level of the surrounding flatlands. Just 
The South Overlook Trail surprises you with the views of Mitchell Pass, remnants of the Oregon Trail, and the Scott Bluff National Monument Visitor Center with the winding Scott Bluff Summit Road running toward the first tunnel. Almost every trip to Scott's Bluff National Monument starts with a stop at the visitor center. The center is located within a walking distance from the entrance. It features exhibits about the human and natural history of the park and holds a unique collection of artworks by the frontier photographer and artist William Henry Jackson. 